Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the Turok Enhanced playthrough. Today I'm doing the Catacombs, and um, which is level 5, and I really hope I don't get lost in this level because um, I think this is my third time playing it through, and it can be quite tricky to learn all the little paths you have to take, and it's kind of intentionally maze-like, I guess. So let's hope I don't get lost, and um, I'm able to kind of show you this pretty much the most important things you have to do in the level. There's a few secrets and stuff that I'm going to miss out, but they're really just things, like at the start of the level if you turn around and jump down behind you, you can get some, uh, I think it's like a backpack or something, but I don't really need that, so um, I'm just going to show you the important bits for the start. And uh, we have a grenade launcher now, I don't, I don't know if I really used this much in the last level, but I'll try and use it a little bit in this level, and also we have, oh damn, we also um, get a new gun on this level, which is like a freeze gun. So hopefully I can get that. Um, I'm going to fight like a little mini boss here. And uh, I'll use my grenade launcher actually to, to fight him because um, it does lots of d um, damage, this grenade launcher. And where's he going? He's, like, he's, he's just like a normal chief guy that shoots stuff at you, but he's just got like more health and he can teleport and stuff. Whoa, I got him. <laughs> yeah, the grenade launcher blows people up in the sky. So that was pretty easy and that's our first key, which is actually a key to level 8. And we have one more key in the level. And, oh I got some minigun ammo too actually, I'm going to probably start using that now. Because um, we've got one more key actually in the, the level and then the next key is just, um, you get it for beating the boss. And that's another key to get into level 8 as well. So basically that's every boss you fight or beat, you get um, a key for level 8, so <clears throat> let's see. Next, I think I'll actually go and get the Chrono uh, Scepter piece, because, no, let's think, I'm already, I think I'm already getting lost here, I think I go this way. And there's a sick, like, really long tunnel I have to go down. Yeah, I'm on the right track now. I'm actually missing one more, uh, I'm going to miss one more secret here, because I'd have to backtrack to get it. Yeah, it never gets old blowing people up with that. It's actually in behind here, and the way you get that is by backtracking to more or less the, where you enter the actual tomb, and you just stick, there's a few little, there's like this um, little crouching bit I'm doing right now, you basically do that to get to a, a minigun, but let's see, do I even have much money? I don't have any more left, and um... I, tr I tested the minigun against the boss and it's not even really worth using so I'll just uh, try and not bother picking that up and let's see, okay I don't really even need them. Um, I'm going to down to get this la um, this weapon piece right now. Let's see, this can be quite, hmm, I think it's down this way. It's easy to get lost in these little, yeah, see the water. So um, I think the best thing to use against this, whoa guys, the explosive shotgun shells, he's just another chief guy, yeah, he, this explosive shotgun shells do a lot of damage, like probably um, similar damage to the grenade launcher, and this is the chrono se scepter piece, and it's like, it looks like the barrel of the, the actual gun, which is cool how you get all these different um, parts, and uh, I must have, I must be nearly completed that, I think probably, probably only a couple more pieces, so yeah, this, tunnel bit here wasn't accessible before. Whoa, I'm on like three health, I just noticed. Wow, I need to start picking up health. That was close. Um, I just wasn't even looking at my health there. Let's see, get some more shotgun um, explosive shells. Because the explosive shells are very handy for the boss. Um, ideally, I'd like to have full explosive shells. I'll probably just not use them again for the rest of this level. And I'm hoping I don't die. I didn't realise how... Uh, low on health I actually was. Yeah, these this tunnel part can be kind of boring actually because you can't really move much faster than I'm moving right now, but we're almost at the end and I've got no more health. I uh, Let me think. I think I'm going to get some uh, hidden p parts here which will give me some health at least. Oh wait, there's some health there actually as well. I think the chief guys really take a lot of your health off you with that fireball attack, so that's probably what was hurting me so much. Um, okay, so I think I go left here. Possibly doesn't matter too much, I'm not sure, but... 
catch some fire down here. I'm going to, whoa, try and avoid my best. Oh. Yeah, it's just this little entryway here. It's kind of hidden and out of the way, but if you don't get into this entryway, um, you'll just be running around lost for the rest of the map, and that's a part that's kind of hard to find. I guess I, I know, I will save it. I don't, there's not really much point in saving it, but why not? Because I'm so low on health, I think I might just save it. Um, so this is the next part that leads up to more or less the end of the level and what we have to do is there's a, a platform there or like a little button over there and one there and it raises these um, little steps up to the exit. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to actually kind of cheat here. I found out this little way of, um, so I have to go through that door over there and that door That's and then get these buttons. So basically if I go straight ahead it takes me to that switch which raises the middle part only. Um, but what I'm going to do, instead of going straight ahead, I'm going to go left and it's going to take me actually to where um, the right switch would be because I'm kind of backtracking in behind here and I know lots of nice little secrets along this way as well which will get me some of my health up let's see if I can avoid this guy, yes oh and I've got some minigun, I can't even remember picking that up okay so here's the first secret, I like this one, it's kind of um, these switches and at first I was like what are these doing but they're essentially just opening up this uh, little a hidden wallway part and that will give me some tech bows and an ultra health which is what I really need right now and more explosive shotgun ammo and some grenades okay so it's the health is just in here and it's an ultra health and that just brings me back up to the top so that's pretty handy and uh, not like pretty obvious actually I'm sure everyone would find that one out but there is one more secret up here which is going to give me some ammo and some more health which is just going to be invaluable. So I, I came to this part and I seen this skull and I was like, okay, there's something about this skull. There's no way that's just going to be sitting there by accident. And it turns out I was messing around and th there's another hidden wall here. And it's not the only hidden wall. There's one other one on the way out, but um, it's only to health. And to be honest, by then I hope to have like more than 100 health. So I'll kill these wee guys. And this secret area is just like a bunch of little ammo and. Um, some tech, more tech bows I don't really need, but that's filled me up um, with the important stuff like explosive tech bows, um, pulse rifle, and shotgun ammo. So that's probably all I'll need to actually kill this end boss. Um, so where else am I going? I can't remember where the. Oh, yeah, this leads to like, I think a green part outside, like an, an outside part. Right before I kill a couple more, uh, like another chief guy. Oh, and I, this is um, where you get the hidden gun as well, so it's like going to open up this little cave using that switch and what we get is a freeze gun and I will try my best to show that off because I feel like I didn't really use the grenade launcher last time when I got it and um, I should be trying to show off these weapons a bit more. This is a really cool weapon, the freeze gun. Um, essentially you just hold it in and once it's fully charged up, I'll not waste on a beetle. Or even this guy. There we go, I'll use it on him. <laughs> and the chieftain actually killed him right away. And has this like secondary explosion. There's um invincibility there, but I don't really think it's that useful, the invisibility, because um let's freeze these guys down here, why not? Boom. And they're all freezing. And I used to like to like switch to the pistol and shoot them whenever I was a kid, like as if um in the Terminator 2 where the uh, the Terminator gets frozen by the uh, liquid oh shit I fell oh well I hope um, I opened that doorway actually before I fell or did I oh shit I didn't that sucks um, okay what I've done is I've accidentally fallen without pressing the button to the door so um, that really sucks let me um, let me uh, just quickly run ahead and then fast forward to that bit Okay, uh, I'm not quite sure how I managed to mess that up, but I didn't press this button and I fell down, so that sucked. Um, okay, let me show you this little uh, trick, and I'm sure probably a lot of people know this. I mean, I don't know, I just kind of discovered it myself, um, but I'm sure speedrunners probably use this. But I pressed this button, and um, I think I did it the other way around, so I had the middle one up. But uh, whenever I was jumping up on these steps, I was like, Okay, what stopped me from jumping over there? Like, I'm bound to be able to make that. Um, and it turns out 
I can. <laughs> and um, yeah, press that, and then the middle bit comes up. So that cuts out quite a part of um, like a whole section of the the game actually. So that's handy. And these jumps are deceivingly hard to make. There we go. I done it. So, but I fought that part all the time. And I'm going to be going out to this outdoor area now. Oh no, wait, yeah, I've got the keys to do first. I always end up getting lost in these caves as well, so hopefully that doesn't happen. There's only like some some minigun ammo and stuff that I'm missing out on, but uh, I've got full minigun right now, so it doesn't really matter. See, I'll try and, try and freeze the chiefs and do that thing I was talking about where I like to like pull the pistol out of them the last minute and shoot them. Okay, I didn't freeze him. That didn't work. Oh, I froze someone else. I guess he had too much health to freeze it. I think it depends on how much health you have. Oh. oh the grenade launcher works really well against those guys. So this is this was the other hidden wall I was going to talk about, but I uh, I can't get that health because I already have full health, so it only lets you pick up if you're um, probably below 100, I think. And I'm just going to run past these parts. So this is like the last outdoor key I have to get, which is up here, some health down there which I can't actually pick up, oh and there's some tech armour over here, I forgot about that actually, that tech armour is going to be really useful as well against the boss, so this is me climbing up to actually the uh, level 6 key which is now allowing me to go on to level 6. And the only other key I need to get is uh, through fighting this boss, and it's the, um, another key for level 8. Um, I released the water there, and what that does is, um, down here, usually this would be like a pitfall, and you just fall to your death. This is um, back to the first, um, right at the very start of the level here. And the, before, if you fell down this, you would have just fallen down to these spikes and died. But now that we've got the water down, we can just uh, safely swim under here. And this is going to take us to the last boss. And this is like a proper boss. I heard someone that was MGM Knox uh, said that uh, he laughed out loud when he seen what the actual boss was. Because it was like a car in the last level. But it was like um, a hunter you fought as well. Um, but this is like a proper boss. This is um, like a proper dinosaur boss, you could say. Like a Prem Mantis, I think it's called. And here he comes. I'm probably, let me think, I'll, I'll try and see if... Oh, we hit there, I think. I'm going to try and see if my uh, explosive shotgun shells for him. And just take enough damage that he'll go in this like, little cycle where he starts uh, um, kicking down these... Whoa, kicking down these walls. Let's see if I, I can uh, grenade him a few times. He's just basically ignoring me now, and he's just like programmed to just uh, uh, knock down all these walls, and it makes it really glitchy when he does that as well. Like, I think it's the debris and stuff. Let's see, I'll use some more arrows now. I think if I can get them out. Let's see, there's some uh, laser energy cells, so. Quite a good gun for him. Oh wait, there's more laser. Usually it gives you like really crap um, pickups here. I'm getting some good pickups. Usually it's giving me like clips and stuff like that before. I think I might be able to finish him off now just using the uh, explosive shotgun shell. So I'm gonna stick to that because it is the really good weapon to use against this boss. There we go. And he's done. Uh, not too bad a boss as long as you have um, reasonable ammo for you know for him because I, I tried to use the minigun against him and it basically didn't take any health off him at all. Um, let's see what ammo have I got here. I might as well pick up some stuff for the next level. More energy cells will always come in handy. Um, starting off so let's go and get this last key for level 8. No it's not the last key for level 8 but it's the last key um, for this level. And that is it. That's us finished it. I'm going to put my keys in level 8 and put our last key in level 6 and so that's um, the only level available to me is the treetop village and after that I'm assuming that all the keys for level 7 are on the treetop village and essentially level 7 will probably just have one key which is the last key for level 8 
and um, so I'm, I'm assuming the next boss is going to be in level 7. I think he's like a T-Rex or something. So um, that's it for this level, hopefully you'll join me on the next level which is Treetop Village. So once that video is available I will leave it as a little annotation, you can click the video to the left and go and check out that video. If you haven't seen it I have a comparison video of this game which um, shows you the old version and the new one. So thanks a lot for watching, um, there are all the usual buttons here, the subscribe and Patreon buttons and uh, hopefully you can check out my next video.